It is happening. The inflation rate is expected to rise once again, everybody. And now the Federal Reserve is planning to take big action to address this major issue. With millions of people was worried about the stepping in, with Congress stepping in for a little extra relief, people don't know if they're going to receive stimulus payments in 2023. But in this video, I'll explain to you the most important stimulus check information that you have to know. Because remember folks, if President Biden does send out the fourth stimulus check in time, many people will get the relief that they so desperately need. And that would definitely be a great thing. So I hope that President Biden can keep his promise to the American people and send out stimulus payments by 2024. Do you think he will? Tell me in the comments. Well, high inflation and the state of the economy remain at the top of the list of America's top concern. A new poll showed that at least 60% of respondents said they have a great deal about concern and inflation in the economy. The percentage increased by two points for both categories from a poll taken last year. The Fed is already raising its key interest rate by 0.25 percentage points, underscoring the central bank's commitment to fighting inflation, even if that heightens the financial pressure on the country's banks. Now folks, listen to this. As recently as two weeks ago, the Fed appeared set for a steeper rate hike and prepared to keep them elevated for longer. But a startling deposit run at Silicon Valley Bank and a closure of two smaller banks and a taker of two other banks, takeover of two other banks, has created this panic in the financial system. Many economists as well as the Fed noted the bank's newfound caution following the turmoil would likely drag on the economy. The high cost of living is causing financial headaches for millions of people. That is why many states and cities have approved new relief. There is a $5 million fund from which Americans could get much needed $500 stimulus checks. Everybody, listen up. It's important now. This is happening in the state of Missouri, specifically in St. Louis, and the checks are directed at families with low income. The mayor, who was one of the most people affected by this crisis, said that the people in the city, in the city and state have already a plan to send cash to hundreds of families, if not thousands, who were going through a tough time. The bill was presented and is calling for the state to spend $5 million in funds that are coming from the federal crosses to must package. They are surging the federal government to agree on sending $500 monthly payments to local families for the next year and a half. This idea is for this program to begin as soon as possible and its approval will go into 2024. Now the program is not approved yet but a green light would mean that eligible people will be with a low income who are either parents or guardians of children in public city schools and it's a great chance for the city of St. Louis to offer support for working families and their children. The Nebraska governor has also made some school aid and tax cut plans to keep on rolling this week, as lawmakers give a strong thumbs up to a package of property tax changes worth more than $3 billion over the next six years. The bill introduced by the senator would increase Nebraska's two property tax credit program, cap school property tax growth, and eliminate almost all community college property tax. The package represents the second piece of Governor Pillen's plan to advance this bill. The first piece would cut the state's tap income tax rate by one-third and make other income tax changes possible. The governor said the property tax package would provide substantial property tax relief for everyday Nebraskans. In last August in the state of Maine, a new law took effect aimed at giving relief to the homeowners who have watched inflation and demand drive up their property values and thus their taxes. For a bad batch of water, uh, the system uh, then was, you know, it was uh, paused distributing more water into the system in an effort to have a better chemistry or a better jar test of what they were producing. I have very much enjoyed the privilege and honor of serving with you. I uh, also wanted to rise and thank the, uh, the clerk's office for all the work that you do day in and day out. Pardon? Is the gentleman seeking to address the House for one minute? Yes, I am. I seek to rise, revise and extend my remarks and repeat again, uh, Madam Speaker, how much I have enjoyed working with Speaker Bordeaux and for her service to her country. I know many Americans have been anxiously waiting for Congress to approve new pieces of legislation that will boost the monthly benefit payments. Nearly 9 in 10 Americans ages 65 and older currently receive the Social Security benefits, and the program represents an important source of income for the vast majority of those beneficiaries. So for that reason, many seniors on Social Security are awaiting two important pieces of information. The first is the COLA for 2023, and the second is the Medicare Part B premium for 2023. The Social Security Administration implements a COLA each year to protect the buying power of benefits from inflation, but the Social Security Administration system is not perfect, and for instance, they enacted a 5.9% COLA in 2022. 
but inflation has topped 5.9% every month since that decision was made, meaning seniors effectively took a pay cut this year. On the bright side, the Senior Citizens League estimates that seniors will receive an estimated 8.7% of COLA in 2023, that's the largest COLA in the last 40 years. In that scenario, the average retired worker will receive an extra $145 a month. However, the official COLA cannot be calculated until December, and so inflation data is not available yet. The average monthly Social Security benefits for retirees was recently around $1,600, or about $20,000 per year, and that average is around $1,700, and so this is plenty of money for people to collect for fuel and pay their bills. But a new proposal would also change the way. The benefits are calculated and potentially putting more money into the pockets of beneficiaries. Democratic Representative John Larson has introduced a legislation called Social Security 2011. Its new bill, everybody, would also, among other things, would discontinue the use of the CPIW to determine your Social Security benefits. Instead, the bill would also change the calculations based on the Consumer Price Index for Elderly, which places greater emphasis on the cost for food, housing, a medical and peril apparel and medical care. The bill would also provide a benefit bump for current and new social security beneficiaries, including those who are... And now, if you're a Massachusetts resident, income tax refunds were available to you if you paid personal income taxes and filed your return by October 17. If you file your state return by October 17, you should be able to get your stimulus check back. Nearly $100 million in rebates will be sent out to residents across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Starting today, over 4 million older homeowners, renters, and people with disabilities will be issued rebates on rent and property taxes paid in 2022. According to a release, the rebates will be allocated to eligible Pennsylvanians who submitted an application through the property tax and rent rebate program. Applicants who submit their bank account information on the application forms or receive the rebate through direct deposit. And those who request the paper check to be mailed should expect to receive the payment in the mail too. But after the initial distribution of rebates in early July, rebates will be distributed and claims are received and processed. Recently, a Pennsylvania governor called for a major expansion for the relief program, which provided a lifeline for Pennsylvania renters and homeowners. Under his proposal, the maximum standard rebate would increase from 650 